Greetings, so welcome back to Pink Odd Bird. Today we are going to continue on with a Something From Nothing series. I think we're on part uh, six. I don't know, check the title. <laughs> but um, today uh, what we're going to do is tackle the pile of coffee stain papers that I have. We all know these can be used for so many things, but I'm going to take it back, way back, back in the time. When I did a video, I would say it's two years ago, I have a whole tutorial um, and uh, I was using, I, th I think it was kind of funny because I rewatched it briefly and I was using scraps and it seemed like from the way I sounded that I didn't have a lot of scraps and I'm kind of wondering like, have I not touched the scrap box for two years because, uh... <laughs> so... <laughs> I'm going to do a little remake of that video. And so today we're gonna to be using these scraps and I also have my pile of um, book page scraps off to the side. I'm not gonna pick it all up because it's too much, but I have that pile next to me as well. So why don't we go ahead and just jump into it. I'll also, I don't know if you guys are checking the description box, but I have been linking the videos that are, like I'm referring to in the description box. If you guys also wanna like expand on it, you guys can do that on your time as well. So for right now, <laughs> Here we go, we're gonna make some scrappy envelopes. Let's go. All right, so to do this, we're going to use our strips of coffee stain paper or any other strips of paper that you have. Really, you can do this with. Um, I use the coffee stain paper for mine because it was like kind of lightweight and it's easy to manipulate these once they're done. I'm gonna take out any pieces like this that I am not sure why I added to this pile. Question, question, question mark. But let's, I'll leave that one there. I think this should be good. It's not the end of the world. If something's here that I don't need, I just won't use it right now. But all right, so here's what we've got. I'm going to scooch it to the side a little, and then we're just going to jump right in. So to, the idea behind this was I used a bunch of my scraps to make envelopes, and this was a really great way to, to make some scraps. And, and doubly, like we've been doing, it's dual functionality. You can also use these to uh, as journaling space in your, in your books. Ephemera, you can actually seal them and turn them into actual envelopes. You can give them out as happy mail. You can actually send them in the mail. Like really, it's up to you. The choice is yours. So how I made them was, uh, this piece is a little too thick. So how I made them was, I'm just starting out with strips, random strips. As you can see, these are very well scraps of paper. It doesn't really matter what size they are, what color they are. Um, all you're gonna do is add a little piece of glue right along the edge and glue them together try and make them as straight as you can, but we're gonna cut it down at the end anyway, so it's not the end of the world. <sighs> That's like my favorite thing to say. I'm pretty sure you guys are like, April, is, is anything the end of the world? Eh, maybe, but not this. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna just go crazy with the glue. If you've got other paper types, you can add those as well. Like I might have some I don't think I have any in these piles. I'm just gonna use what I have right here. But if you've got other paper types, you can use those as well. So for this little weird scrap, I'm just gonna glue it like this. And glue my strip onto there. Actually, how should I do this? So I need to add a little bit of glue on this side so that it stays down. So this is a really fun project. And also, I think in the same video when I originally did this um, project, I was telling you how you could build up pages and it was once again inspired by Nick the Booksmith's Franken pages. But this is kind of like a way that you can just build pages up um, out of your scraps. So in the beginning, if you, do, if you guys don't remember, or if you do remember, I was telling you that if you had a uh, if you didn't have enough full pages in your scrap boxes that you could build your own pages, this is what I'm talking about. This is exactly what I'm talking about. So as you can see, it's already coming together. It's starting to form a page. 
this is a fast and fun project and you use so many scraps especially depending on how many you make so I think I'm gonna just cap it off after I add this little piece yeah I think so and then we'll start on another one I am going to stitch on these just like I did in my original video. So my glue really is a placeholder right now for this, but I'm going to um, stitch it all down and you'll see like as we go, like I love this project. It's so, it's so fun and it's just like so easy. All right, I'm going to set this aside and let it dry for a second. And actually I'm just going to cut this roughly because I might need that piece. So let's keep going. Actually, why don't we just start with that piece? I'm going to set these little pieces aside. So this is a fun one. I love this project and it's just a great, like I use, I made so, when I made that video of this, I made so many of these and I used them like all throughout the year. Like some of you guys, if you ever bought anything from me or got happy mail from me, you probably got one of these kinds of envelopes from me. And I think that's really cool. You know, like it's just like something that you can pop right in. And it's handmade still, you know, so I don't know. It's awesome, I think. I'm excited. I like this project a lot. The width can be however wide you want it to be, depending on how you're going to use it. Like, you're going to use it for an actual envelope or you're going to use it for ephemera. Really, it's up to you how wide you want to make the envelope. Um, so let's just pop some glue down. Got a pretty good pile of scraps here. So, um, I think we're gonna make a pretty good dent in it. So, I think I'm going to just continue to build some of these up. I'll do a couple on camera here and then we'll reconvene and then I will show you guys the next step. So I'm gonna do this, finish this one up and then we'll come right back. So see you soon. Okay, so I got enough to make eh, maybe two, two or three more here. 
but for the sake of this video, I mean, I already can see this pile has gone down. So yeah, like I can probably make two or more, two or three more out of this, but I'm going to set this aside for now. I think three is sufficient. Did I make three? Yeah, I made three. Three is sufficient for now. These were pieces that I pulled out that weren't necessarily supposed to be in that pile, but here nor there. All right. So I'm going to pick up this first one that we did over here. So there's three in total. You can see they're not like perfect shapes. They're not, you know, in their final form yet. This is what we've got. Okay. So now with the paper trimmer, all you want to do is level these out, trim them down so that they're even Steven. So just trimming off the little excess. I just want to make sure that everything is straight. And I'm really just trimming off like a sliver, sliverly dibberly. Okay. So now we have a nice rectangle. Really, ideally, if you're going to be using these for, if you're going to be using these for pages, it's just cut them to the size of the page that you need. Uh, for envelopes, really, you should make them more like a rectangle. All right. Cut. Second one, and let's cut this third one down. So we've got our three now in, uh, hold on, let's get rid of this. Okay. So the next step, what we're going to do is see these little pieces that I pulled aside here, just like some random papers, like graph paper, children's paper, ledger paper, lined paper like that. So I'm taking pieces like this and also I'm going to use some of my book page scraps from that pile. Actually, hold on a second here. Uh, here we go. There's a page and try to get some different, some different looking book pages, not all the same one. Okay. So there we go, put this one back. Now I've got this, we don't need a whole bunch, but you know, every little piece that we pull out of our scrap pile, it's a piece that's going to be out of our scrap pile. How about that? So I'm just gonna set these out here. Now all I'm going to do, just like I did in my original video, is I was kind of using these little book pages as not only does it add a, like an extra decorative element, but also it kind of helps your pages stay together, especially if you're not gonna be um, stitching on your, final piece I will be but I still do this anyway so just gonna be adding some pages at random anywhere that you feel like you want to add like a little piece doesn't matter which side you can pick what side you want to be like the front or back so there a piece here put one over here okay and then let's do another book page for this one another book page 
so you can see how quickly and easily these are going to come together. I'm telling you guys, this is like one of my favorite, favorite projects. <laughs> okay. Now that we've got some book page in there, now I want to take some of these other types of papers here. Like I've got the lined paper. We can grab some of that. Cool. Let's take a piece over to this page. Put it right there maybe. And I do here like that. Oop. And I want to grab yeah, some of this ledger. How about that? Oh, goodness. Okay. that. How about here? And do one down here. Okay, it looks good. It doesn't take a whole lot of these types of pages, but you're still using them nonetheless. So I'm going to set those aside for now. Um, I think I'm going to add a little, little bit of this. Oop. You can really just do this too it looks, until it looks good to your eye, but I feel like it needs a little something. So we're going to do it. This side has writing. Cool. Cool, cool. And this one. Perfect. Awesome. Now that makes me feel good. So the next thing that we want to do with these is in my original video, I used napkins. Now in my scrap box, miraculously in the scrap box, I <laughs> didn't have any um, napkins, but what I do have is some of this sewing pattern. So in this case, I'm going to use a sewing pattern. Um, if I don't have enough of it here in my scrap box, which I think I might, let me take a look. I can just grab, I can grab some. Um, it won't be coming out of the scrap pile if I don't have enough, but you know, sometimes such is life. It just, it always, it can't be perfect every time. Oh, look at that. Look at here. I have a space napkin that I saved so I can use that for the space book. You never know, just take a look in your stuff because you could be pleasantly surprised. There's some more sewing pattern, I'll take that out. You can also use one of these like thin type book pages, that would be kind of fun. All right, so I'm gonna take a, oh look, I have just uh, tissue paper. There's more sewing pattern paper. I've got, oh. A mulberry paper. You could use that. Oh, I do have a little bit of napkin. I'll pull that out just for, just in case. A little bit of napkin. And I saw some tissue paper here. So I have just plain old tissue paper we can also use. I got a coffee filter. I could use that. So, cool. So I think that should probably be good with what we've got. Now, give me a second. I have to put, put my, um, my non-stick mat under this because we're going to be doing some uh, Mod Podge. So uh, get your surfaces prepped and we'll be right back. All right, you guys, we're back. 
I have my mat down. Now, I'm just gonna grab one of these at a time. I use the side that has these as the inside. So we're gonna be focusing on the back side here. And as you saw, oops, I pulled out mediums like my sewing pattern, some napkins, and whatever else I could felt I felt I could collage with. So now all you want to do is take your collage medium, and I'm going to put some down on my page. And get to brushing. You want to make sure you go to the edge. Then I'm going to put my tissue down and go over the top. Whoa. <laughs> go over the top to seal it. Super easy. Super breezy. just going to kind of wet my brush a little bit and give this a little tear if some of it comes off that's okay it just adds to the rustic look that's what I think and I'm going to finish it out by adding a little bit more medium here I like to wet my brush just a dab. Like so. <clears throat> and then we'll put a tissue down. Now I don't need to overlap this. So, you know, that way I can save a little bit for if I need it for one of my other envelopes that I don't have enough um, napkin or tissue. Perfect. Super easy and fast. Just gonna run it down and tear off this excess. Boom. So that's what we've got. And now I'm just gonna set this over to the side and let it air dry. So I'm gonna repeat the same process using uh, tissue, napkin, whatever I have here with my other two. So if you guys wanna just uh, watch along, we'll get that done and then I will show you what the next step is. All right, so these are the three. This actually, this napkin fit on this one perfectly, which makes me so happy. So that's the first, the third one. 
I think I forgot to press record on this one. <laughs> I'll have to wait until I edit the footage, but I think I forgot to press record. Sorry. But it's this one, and I used that last piece of sewing pattern and then the pieces of the napkin that I had pulled out. I also use those. And the first one was this one with the sewing pattern paper. So I need to let these all sit off to the side for a second to, to dry. And then after they're dry, we'll come back and I will show you the next step and then we'll be done with this one. So I'll be back. Alright friends, so these have finally dried. It's a new day. I've been waiting for the sun to come out and it's not, it's not, it's not coming today. It's not going to be here. It's a, it's a brand new day. Yesterday it was, that's okay. You know, cloudy days are my, my most favorite and also it's been raining. So I'm making some tea right now. Um, but now that these are dry, the next thing that we're going to do is just chop these down. And really on these, I'm just looking to clean up these little edges here. I don't want to really like cut them, cut them down, cut them down. I'm just trying to clean up the edges. So once I get these all cut down, almost done here. So this is what we're, what we've got now. Love it. There we go. Love it. Very cute. So the next thing that I'm, I'm going to do, you don't have to do this part. You can skip it if you want to. I'm just going to do a little bit of stitching and stitch around the perimeter and I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are. Uh, hold on. <laughs> okay, so here we are. These are the finished, well, mostly finished for now, I guess. Um, how they look after I've stitched on them. As you can see, I just did some like messy stitching and then I just went around the perimeter. So the next thing I'm gonna do is if you wanna make these envelopes, I am going to fold them down to a size that'll go uh, pretty good with the width of my book. And then we'll get this piece folded down and then we have an envelope. Now, I am gonna add this to the pile for the correct uh, book theme that it's going with. And then once I get back into um, where we we're gonna start working on one book at a time, um, I'll see what I have that I can add to embellish this further. But for now, it's done. So I'm just gonna repeat. And actually, I didn't really stitch right here and I think I need to add a little bit more glue. It's okay. Perfecto. Okay. And So it's almost going to be a little bit more like a trifold maybe but I have to keep it in mind because the book is a, oh, a certain width on that one and I think I'm like right at that width but it's okay it'll fit in there if it sticks out a little bit that's okay and then this one our sewing pattern one I'm gonna put this one in the Halloween book and then we'll obviously embellish it further okay And like I said, if you want to just glue these down, you can glue them down and actually turn them into envelopes or you can gesso inside of them or you can leave them like this because you can still write around in some of these empty spaces. So it's really up to you. All right, so 
these are the finished envelopes that we made today using our scraps and yeah so i hope you guys like this one if you do uh leave a comment down below thank you guys all for leaving your feedback and your comments and suggestions and ideas i always appreciate that so very much and um yeah i'm happy that you guys are enjoying this series it's been really fun uh we're gonna be getting whittling down towards the end here pretty soon so stay tuned and just hang in there with me <clears throat> but i think that is gonna wrap it up for me for now be sure to stay tuned because you never know what direction this odd flock of ours is heading into. And until next time, toodaloo.